So we've been waiting for some time to hear how the SEC will address the meme stock mania this year. Chair Gary Gensler had promised to report on the GameStop frenzy by the end of summer. Well, it's officially fall and so far there is no report. But that doesn't mean the SEC isn't ready to crack down. CNBC's Yoon Lee explains the new court filings and subpoena that show the SEC is getting serious. The SEC has been looking into the wild trading in GameStop and the MemeStop mania that shocked Wall Street this year. Just this week, the SEC sued two traders over illegal trading practices involving certain meme stocks. And it shows that the SEC is now going after traders using shady practices and trying to take advantage of the mania. The SEC also took steps to subpoena Michael Burry. Now, we don't know much detail on what the subpoena actually entails, uh, and the SEC has declined comment on the investigation. He has been trading GameStop for a couple years and has been a very vocal commentator on the stock. But earlier this year, when the massive short squeeze happened, he turned into a very vocal critic. He even called the trading unnatural, insane, and dangerous. Investors are also bracing for this highly anticipated report from SEC Chairman Gary Gensler on the meme stock frenzy. Gensler has said that the agency is pretty close to releasing a report. They've been analyzing the wild moves in GameStop and other speculative stocks for months. I think these recent moves from the SEC are showing that Gensler is taking a tougher stance on speculative trades in the market and perhaps there are implications for a lot of popular trading apps like Robinhood and if the agency is going to take steps to put restriction on retail trading. All right, before we go, here's one last thing to know. Multiple people are leaving the Federal Reserve following controversy around their investments. Dallas Fed President Robert Kaplan announced he will retire on October 8th, and Boston Fed President Eric Rosengren is stepping down too. He cited health concerns rather than scrutiny around his portfolio. Many people raised concern over the huge stock trades Kaplan was executing while in his position as Fed President. Both Kaplan and Rosengren later sold their stocks to avoid a conflict of interest. You can read about those Fed officials' decisions to step down along with everything else we talked about today by going to CNBC.com or downloading the CNBC app. That's all for today's edition of After Hours, but we'll be back here every Tuesday and Thursday, so we'll see you then.